What is up, everybody? Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. As you guys know, within Genfinity, in collaboration with Hashpack, we are doing multiple Hedera ecosystem interviews. And today, super excited to have uh, Andrew Antar uh, from Tuna FM joining us. How are you uh, doing this morning, Andrew? Andrew? Doing well, doing well. How are you doing? Fantastic. Um, I actually told... Um, Mark from uh, Hashpack on Thursday or Friday when we nailed this in. This is this is one that I'm definitely excited for. Um, so let's let the audience know um, from a background and history standpoint. Can you give us just an overview of like how the Tune FM initiative like started? Um, when did it start? You know the, the the team members and the onboarding aspects. Yeah, so um, we've been building a music tech project for a while, and the idea is to create an open marketplace and um, for artists and fans to be able to interact with each other and find each other. And um, what the missing piece was really the monetization component, um, and we knew we wanted to do something with tokenization and crypto. Uh, we didn't quite know what we wanted to build on, um, but we were lucky enough to stumble upon Hashgraph before Hedera launched and um, immediately sort of clicked that this would be the only technology that could scale micropayments uh, for music streaming royalties, which is really the underlying business model that, that we wanted to pursue. And so we partnered very early on with Hashgraph, literally within days after it launching, um, uh, or at least being announced. And then um, we've been building on Hedera ever since. And um, so we were the first to launch on OA, like within the first minute that OA happened and then um, helps with the creation of the token service and the first to launch a token on HTS. And so, and then we we're the first to get a, a token listed publicly on an exchange. And now we're on 20 exchanges and counting. And um, so, you know, we've been there at the beginning on uh, sort of pioneering a lot of different Hedera based adoption and services and um, all the while building up our community and user base and artists and product uh, alongside um, our use of Hedera. That's fantastic. And I know even on the site, you know, kind of the web three of Spotify aspect. So from from your guys' standpoint, um, based on the market research that you've done, uh, how much of an opportunity exists for disruption in the music industry for both artists and fans yeah so i mean spotify is sort of uh poised to be disrupted um and um it's basically um it, it's really bad for the artists um they, they don't get paid close to anything uh it's like less than 10 percent of less than half a penny per play and um so they, they can't really live off their streaming revenue um, the rights holders and the publishers take about 90% of that. Um, and that's about 70% of Spotify's revenue. So Spotify is getting squeezed, uh, funny enough, even though they make plenty of money. Um, the, the rights holders, the publishers, labels, they make most of the money from streaming. Uh, so they're doing fine. But the artists are getting the short end of the stick. And so they have to rely on merchandise sales still and you know, touring. Um, and even when they tour, most of their, the actual money that goes to the artists is for merchandise. So it's still like stuck in the Stone Age from a monetization perspective. And when you compare that to YouTube, um, people able, able to monetize their channels very easily, your Instagram able to monetize their influence with just 10,000 or 100,000 fans. Um, you know, with music, uh, we don't see that type of monetization um, on the existing platform. So part of that is um, creating a new business model that enables creators, uh, especially music artists to monetize um, their streaming, but not, not only that, to monetize their super fans via the use of music NFTs. And there's been a lot of talk about music NFTs, but nobody's really done it right. And there's no real true music NFT platform out there. And so we think we've put together the right combination of solutions to actually offer music NFTs uh, that that are you know scalable for the future. Yeah, and I think even watching the the video, the commercial that you guys had, um, one one stat in there that you had is you know artists can 
make upwards of 10 times more uh, revenue than they're, they're currently making on, on Spotify. So when you kind of look for like a feedback loop within the platform that you guys are facilitating, I know that uh, music NFT streaming uh, royalty micropayments and social audio for, for both artists and fans. Can you talk about kind of how, and I know it's, there's a lot of products within that, but how there is like kind of that feedback loop that drives value from what um, Tune FM is, is building within all the products that you guys have. Yeah, so um, essentially um, our, our secret sauce, I guess, is the fact that we're vertically integrating a streaming platform with an NFT marketplace. So there's the sort of decentralized Web3, you know, streaming platform, aka Spotify slash SoundCloud, where it's permissionless, anyone can upload their, their masters, but also you have that sort of uh, premium streaming experience. And then also a place where you can buy the NFTs, which is really just um, collectibles and exclusive things from the artists, exclusive experiences, whether in-person experiences or virtual experiences, whether it's, you know, backstage pass or uh, FaceTime with the artist or any number of things the artists can offer, um, as well as limited audio releases, um, you know, albums, um, multimedia, multi-tiered music nfts and a place where you can actually listen to the music um, where you get the music nfts and because we're doing the streaming royalty micro payments for the streaming itself um, we can attach those to the nfts so the artists can sell a portion of the streaming royalty micro payments in platform uh, with the nfts so the the buyer of the nft can essentially participate in the upside um, of the streaming with alongside the artists. And so having um, a place to stream the music and do, make playlists and, um, you know, save it to their library and, and share songs all within um, the place where you actually buy the NFTs is something that hasn't really done been done before. Yeah. And I think you touched on it as, as one uh, way that, you know, listeners can also potentially obviously not financial advice, make revenue. Um, but within some of the other aspects too, that Tune FM is building out, I mean, I think that listeners also can like find, like from what I was looking at, like find talent or bring talent onto the platform. What does that look like from a listener standpoint uh, in a way that, you know, they could potentially get rewarded within um, Tune FM platform? Yeah, so... Um... Well, there's also a play to earn aspect. So it's not just all spending. Um, you can actually um, listen to music uh, and get paid for those listens. So that is this sort of um, feedback loop where the artists can promote their music with Jam. And if the music is actually good, then the people who are listening to promoted music, getting paid for it, if they listen to the whole song, you know, they'll get that full amount. And then if they go ahead and listen to the artist's other music or, or the full album, then that would be a return on investment or ROI back to the artist for that investment in their promotion. And so you have the win-win on both the artist being able to promote their music to new fans who've never heard their music before, getting an ROI on their investment if their music is good. And um, we're targeting that to the, the right music taste so people are listening to things that they want to hear and then the the listener is winning because they get to discover a new song and a new artist and actually get paid for that experience so that's the really exciting thing um as far as um having the play to earn and win-win on both sides yeah if you remember because i know that you guys are really old school within hedera as well like if you remember back when they were doing like testnet you used to have to like they had like a bunch of articles and if you like clicked on the article and scrolled through it, you would get like micro streamed H bar. So it's probably just like a really easy um, transition into like the, okay, you're listening to music, listen to the whole song, listen to the artist's um, additional catalog. I should uh, say on top of that, um, you guys are still in, I think it's still open beta, right? So, you know, people can come on and test out the platform and get, um, I, I believe right now it's a hundred jam coins that you guys still have on there as a reward for people that want to participate. Is that still the case? Uh, yeah, we actually upped it to a thousand. Um, oh, so, you know, more. 
more juice. And um, yeah, it's totally open and working. You can go ahead and sign up on tune.fm, um, join now and create your account. We have over 10,000 artists on the platform already, over 100,000 users, and we're growing. And we're, we're still in beta because we're not quite ready to say that we're you know prime time there's so many things we're building and so many things are changing and so things can break from time to time as we're moving very fast um but um you know um we'll probably come out of that sometime this year um it's really just um a label but you know uh we're really focused right now on the, the music nft marketplace